100% Chelsea. Right, I'm here with Tony and Louis. We are here in the Chelsea Kitchen. That's the name of the place here on the Fulham Road. Nice little Chelsea, uh, Chelsea restaurant slash calf. <laughs> and um, pretty nice place to chill out after your game. And that's what we're doing now. We're going to discuss the game itself. Chelsea Swansea finished 2-2. We came for three points. Didn't get it. Um, let's start off with your just overall thought on the game itself. How do you think we did? Um, like so, so it was a roller coaster type game, wasn't it? Um, like I said on the interview, really, um, bit of sweet. Um, happy that we got the draw because we were down to ten men. Yeah. Could have easily lost it, really, couldn't we? Let's be honest. Um, and uh, but obviously, I'm unhappy that we didn't get three points, which I thought was we were going to go on to do that, you know, after the first half, you know. But obviously the game turned on the uh, the sending off. Obviously I couldn't see it from where I was at the time, but I've been told now it was bang on the line, you know. And obviously Courtois's gone and he's out for three games. He's going to miss the City game now, isn't he? Yeah. And a uh, bit of an irony, really, isn't it? Where uh, Petr Cech would have stood it, stepped in, and but you know it is what it is. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, I suppose it's a point. You know we haven't got beat. Um, there was bits of the game I thought where we were. Uh, back to our old self, actually. Um, yeah. Better than what we were in pre-season, for sure. Um, but then there was also bits where we were a bit, you know, making little errors and... Clumsy. Yeah, and still a little bit off the pace. Um, but we looked good, good when we were going forward. But again, back to that old, you know, we won't shoot, you know. We get into situations and we don't sort of launch a shot. You know, we're almost trying to pass the ball in the net. Yeah. Frustrating, I think, is probably the right word, isn't it? Yeah. You know, um, not much more to say than that, really. It's a little bit disappointing, but we didn't lose the game with 10 men, so, you know. The streak continues. I think it's 16 games, 16 opening days. We haven't lost any one of them. And yeah. now, is, that, is it 17 today? I think it is. I think it is. Well, yeah. <laughs> can't complain. Anyway, your thoughts? Same, yeah. bittersweet? Yeah, it was pretty bittersweet. It wasn't the best game, but we sort of, we're more on the pace than we were during pre-season. And like Tony was saying, you see glimpses of it. Um, and when we went forward, there were places where we came on the counter-attack, like we were saying yesterday. They love going forward, Swansea, and we caught them out. But it's just the fact that we were trying to pass it in the net rather than smash it from 35 yards or just to actually have a shot that we fell over. Yeah. And it was, it was really frustrating. I mean, it, it happened last season, but we couldn't really moan about it because we still won games and we were still getting points. And we are still getting points this time, but it's just a case of we really do need a, a player in midfield that will just launch them and just hit them. And, you know, like I was saying yesterday, Pogba is just sitting there. Pogba is, um, yeah, no, that, like Tony's been saying for the past month, I was thinking it's obscene, but he's right. If we want a player that can hit it from 35 yards, Pogba fills the bill. He fits it perfectly. And he's box to box. And he's box Tracks to box. back. Exactly. Helps Matt in. He's Perfect. Said it there. It's everything there. 50, 56, 57 million is sorted, but, yeah. you know, it's not going to happen. I think... What, That's what I used to do that job for us, didn't he? You know, he's... The, shoot from outside the box and yeah. you know I mean I can't we almost want to like I say pass it you know into the into the net you know and um, that, that's, that's one problem that we just it's not it's not going away and I welcomed when Ivanovic bombed forward today yeah, and he just had a whack and I was like thank you yeah. <laughs> thank you that's coming from a defender yeah. a right back you know he's showing exactly what needs to be done hit it because you never know I saw multiple chances where Oscar got the ball on the edge of the box or um, Costa from time to time would get the ball on the edge of the box and he just has the chance to whack it and instead he gives it to Hazard on the side or gives it to William on the side and we're just not going for it you know why is it not changing Matic as well Matic as well yeah even him um, at time Fabregas you know he'd be like hit it hit it no give it to William slot it in or give it to Hazard slot it in and I think that needs to change Mm. I I completely agree We, we do need someone who can shoot from outside the box we just we don't seem confident I mean we have a great centre forward in Costa. We've got someone who's just coming back to it, I think, in Falcao. I think a couple more games and he, he will be scoring goals. I'm, just, I'm still Remy. I mean, I wouldn't let him go, but he just doesn't fit the bill anymore. I just don't know. It's like pre-season. He didn't come on today, but pre-season just seemed completely off the pace. Yeah. And he kept getting caught offside and he just doesn't look fit. And I know you need games to get fit, but he just doesn't look it. Yeah. So if you ask me, we need a centre forward or a midfielder who will just go, right, I'm going to hit it. And I just think it's the mentality which we have in that team. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I don't know if it's just the, in the like, in, when I was growing up, like, the English mentality is if you get a chance, edge of the box or in the box, hit it. Yeah. That's the way I've been always taught to play football when I'm growing up. 
but I don't know, it's just because. I don't know if it's a cultural thing where sort of in other countries they say pass it out, slot it in, make a beautiful goal. That that we're not doing that. I, and I don't know if it is. I don't, I don't mean to cause offence or anything, but it's like I think I just, I just think it is like Lampard was English and Lampard did that. Um, I mean the player just doesn't really fit that. I'd say David Luiz was that other player who would just go David Luiz um, would just hit it and off it goes. And I mean it's you know we just need a player which is sort of that little bit crazy. Yeah. He will just. Do you know what that player who's a bit crazy who just like do what he thinks is best? I mean, Cantona is a prime example of that, or um, Zidane. Just you want some of those like a flaw, almost a flawed genius, yeah. which you know they're not they're hard to come by. But you know, I just think we need that. And I mean, um, who was it? Who's that midfielder that we were talking? You were talking about um, Daily Blues uh, about the edge last month. Was it um, the Chilean guy? What's his name? Oh, Aaron, Aaron Gies. Gies. Aaron Gies. He's the one. Aaron Gies is like that. Well, pa- pa- apparently, he's going to Leicester. You got to I don't know how that's happened, but no, but no, yeah. Well, you know, but Aaron Gies, yeah. I, he would he would have been that player which just slots him in, or just hits him because I've seen him do it, and he's you know he can do it. Well, do you agree with me that um, I mean you look at both goals today? First one came from. Uh, I mean, there was there was the William goal. Um, Oscar, that Oscar free kick. yeah, there was the Oscar free kick, and then there was the William goal. Now the Oscar free kick, it just went straight in. Okay, no one decided to hit it. To and it, it yeah, and it just well, went. It me? just went straight in. Yeah. William went for a cross deflection. Went in. Do you agree with me when you see goals being scored like that? That we just have to play more direct. Stop yeah. this tippy, you know, yeah, yeah, this yeah. this tiki taka stuff. Stop trying to walk it into the net. Because as proven today, when you try just hit it from a distance, sometimes it goes in. Yeah, you know. The first day uh, we done this was launched this yeah. channel. Uh, when in the first videos I said that. Yeah. The tip we become we we almost become up, you know, oh, Arsenal. Not yeah. like being horrible. <laughs> yeah. And not you know They've become us. <laughs> well it, it it seemed like that yeah. in the community shield, didn't it? You know, I, it, it it did they look very resolute, you know. We don't look resolute, do we? But let's you know, let's talk about this pre season, this preparation. It's been poor, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's really been poor. You know, um to come off the plane three days before we play Arsenal. Not making excuses, but they were much, much more quicker than us. Um, I just think it's been poor, you know. And Mourinho, a day in the sun. Has, I mean, you don't know how true it is. He's, he's, he's come out and said, and he, you know, that you know, he, that um, we've stood still. So you know, it's obviously a board situation. We've mentioned it's got to be at the stadium. But I just don't. For me, right, I just think you can't stand. You know, when you're champ, when you've won the Champions. I cannot recall, uh, even before when we won the title before, going into the following season, feeling the way I do. Yeah. It's proper apathetic, you know, that, that, that feeling of like, oh, you know, it's a bit of a, it's a damp squid, isn't it? Do you know, yeah. I just feel like, you know, and I don't feel as though we're going to go out and we're going to make a difference, in, you know, with, with the window, you know, True. with the amount of weeks we've got left of it. But you are, I mean, Pogba was just looking at us, 56, 58 million. And it would make such a difference to that side. You know, automatically the bench is stronger. Yeah. You know, and you've got options. You're much more solid. You've got a box-to-box player. You've got a player that will shoot. Matic, you know, you've got that combination. You've got Fabregas that can move forward. You've got loads of different, you know. I just don't get why we don't. We've, we've got the money. I don't get why we're not doing it. it uh, to me, it's a shambles. It's like we're going into players and we're not going into players. You know, well, we won't play that. And in the past, we just pay it. Everyone we've been linked with this window, yeah. <laughs> it just hasn't happened. <laughs> you know, it just has, every every player's coming along. It's, there's a link there. Yeah, we're gonna go for him. Nah, turns out we're not. <laughs> you know, very disappointing, mate. It really, it's, it is just, We need we need strengthening. That side needs strengthening. It needs a freshening up. You know, it's like I'm in mean, 0405. We won the league. You know, Mourinho's first year. We won the league. Look comfortable. Our team looked good because we brought in signings beforehand. Then in that summer. We brought in Essien, if you remember. You know, and he made a massive difference. Yeah. Brought in a couple more, and we went on to retain comfortably. You know, that second season with Mourinho in charge, we won the first seven games. Just cruised it. Um, so, yeah, I think we do need to refresh. But even the Mourinho's coming out with some negative vibes as well, isn't he? So it's going to be hard, it's going to be this. You know, and, you know let's, why don't we just make sure? You know, uh, we, we've, we've given Arsenal 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points, whatever we check. Yeah. It's the most ridiculous thing that in the world that is. You know, we've made them so much stronger, yeah? 
and, and you know, and and just quite a number of players that we've let go over the last couple of years. Yeah. No, I'm not questioning Jose. I love Jose. Do you know what I mean? We love him. Do you know? Well, as, as, as down to the headline that we've seen, well, it doesn't look like it's down to him. Right? All right, we know he was suspect at the back, but I'll tell you what, he was a brilliant old mid, midfield player. He was, but it was it was, he, is, but he was it was a good asking price. He, he was, he was. <laughs> but the thing is, no. But the thing is, like Mourinho said, he would not play him as a holding midfielder. He said he is a centre back. He would be playing as a centre. Back. I agree. I think I think he was a great, great, great holding midfielder. Do you think he's better than than Remy? Well, we let him go. Kevin De Bruyne, right? Do you do you not think, right? Okay, he would have been perfect as a, uh, you know, a player as a backup for William. I mean, we bought Mo Salah as a result of getting rid of De Bruyne. We bought Salah, but we we now got rid of him. What well, one one or thing? Dano, do you think he's better than Kevin De Bruyne? Or why Man City paying fifty million for Kevin De Bruyne? Or like you know, Rimfrey? Well, De, De Bruyne was just he. He wouldn't track he back. Would, he wouldn't track back. He, he, and he, he had a stinking oh. attitude. He has said that um, he spoke with or was it Jose that, that when they spoke and Mourinho mentioned you know to him about his situation at Chelsea, the brain was saying, "Listen, with me, I'm sorry, but I have to play every week. One matter. And I have to bump forward, and I'm I'm not a defend a defensive type of player. I'm not going to be someone who's going to track back." And Mourinho respected that and said, "Okay, no problem. Thank you for honesty, but there's the door. <laughs> you know." Oh, what about the left then, Andre Schürrle? No, that is it. That. That was, that's there's cover. There's cover for Hazard. You've got to look at the bench, right? And and then, I'm not being funny, but um, Felipe Luiz, right? I mean, he's been a, a, he was in the UEFA team of the year, wasn't he? Yeah. It's Brazilian, you know, um, left back. He never got a sniff last season. He's a good player. Why would Atletico have him back if he was a load of rubbish? You know, why didn't he play on the left? That's Billy Quetta playing on the right. You know, he doesn't like his fullbacks to pump past the halfway line. Yeah. You know, but for me, Ivanovic does all the all the nitty gritty stuff very well. He is good for the you know the the, the old goal in that. But it, it's, he can't cross, can he? Do you think Ivanovic is you know when he gets that final that final ball, he either cuts it back or his crosses are, are woeful. We still have a problem with crosses. I don't know about you, but today it was clear as well. It's just not changing. We can't get the ball in the box. This is not happening. There's another one, Ryan Bertrand. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. There you go. These are all players that we've let go, yeah? English, left back. And we try, we got, I tell you, I, I, I honestly, maybe it's just me, yeah? But for me personally, yeah, I, I personally think I'd have probably half, if not all of them back. No, I'd have scream. I wouldn't have wouldn't all of them back. back. I wouldn't have De Bruyne back, because oh, you know, he has a stinking attitude and he had a problem with the way it is. I don't, cause he They're not bothered about defending, you have to admit. Oh, well. De Bruyne was a good bit of business and as he said or you know Jose with, with their conversation they had he's just he was clear and honest and he said I'm not going to track back I'm sorry and, and I need to be playing every week and Petr Cech he's not going to be coming. playing every week if you're Kevin De Bruyne and you've got Hazard and William there and you've got a midfield with Fabregas and Oscar and Matic and all them you, you're, you're just not going to be playing every week and he was clearly not happy about that so I, I guess it's just circumstance he's a quality player he's doing amazing at Wolfsburg but I mean, it just doesn't fit the bill. Bench, right? And you look at those players, and if you had all those players now, for sure, would we be the real deal? Would you? Yeah. Like, if we had three or four or five of those players still playing or in our in the nucleus of our squad, yeah. right? Would you be worried about anyone else right now? You say we're we're going to win it. We, we won the title. We've got plenty of cover on cover. Yeah. You get some injuries to, to key players like Hazard, William, Costa, Courtois. You know, it's arguable. Do, do, do you know what I mean? But. Fabregas, right? It's what we got to go in its play. I, I'd say I think this this transfer window has been ridiculous. Yeah. I'm, it's been ridiculous, you know. I mean, Axel Witzel, he was supposed to be over in Russia trying to organise that deal. Nothing happened. Stones, what are we three million adrift. Oh, well, no, Stones, Stones, apparently what? that is happening. I've been reading stuff this morning. I've read stuff over the weekend, and it just keeps coming back, coming back, coming back. I'm not sure whether it's just the media trying to create something, but I, I do think that's going to happen. And that is a great bit of business because he's, he's like Zuma. He can play left back, well, not left back. He can play out wide or he can play in the middle. And I mean, if you look at the future, Zuma Stones, centre back partnership. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that is, that'd be, that'd be brilliant. But in terms of like you're saying, who would you bring back and who would you keep? Um, it's great looking at it hypothetically saying, okay, I'd have all these players come back. That'd be brilliant. But if you look at it from the player's perspective, David Luiz does, didn't want to play centre midfield. He wanted to play um, in, the back, in the back line, and that wasn't going to work. Paris Saint-Germain, both games, and he played only mid. 
Yeah, and he, he, you know, he's done the job that he's done so many games when he played in that position. I like David Luiz in that position. I thought he was brilliant. I agree. I agree. I, I mean, yeah, David, David Luiz, offensively, David Luiz is great. But when he was at Chelsea, he said, I don't want to play a home midfield. I want to be a centre-back. That wouldn't work. I mean, Brazil, Germany... Um, and some of the times at Chelsea where he would just leave massive gaps massive in that back line oh, and uh, that, that wouldn't be great De Bruyne had a terrible attitude I remember there was something at Swindon Town I think that was the last straw with him he faked an injury or something to get off the pitch and then he just went home I think it was something like that happened um, Mata just didn't trap back I'm, I'm sad about that because he was my favourite player that's why I call him a Judas um, Czech if he's happy I'm happy um, <laughs> Listen, it's a circumstance, it's just, isn't I, it? I know less to say if he's happy, I'm happy, but are you really happy with it? No. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, it's, it's, you know. it he, he, he yeah. could have come in today, honestly. If Courtois, you know, got sent off, it would have been perfect. If he's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. It does hurt. It does, it does hurt. It does hurt. I have to admit that. But I mean, like, look at that. Check. Yeah, that happened. Matter that happened. De Bruyne has a terrible attitude. Like David Luiz. You don't like one, man, do you? It's, 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 right. Do you want me to explain why I dislike yeah, her? Yeah, okay. yeah, do that. Juan Meta, hey, when you're a kid, you have that, that, your favourite player, no. and if they do something wrong, like or if they go to a, a rival club, even if you know, the circumstances are, uh, like make sense, you don't like them for that reason. Yeah. That's what I was like, Juan Meta. He was my favourite player. So I, I, I'm sort of like, that's why I don't like him. He went to Man United. And I understand the circumstances. And whenever everyone tells me that, it's like, yeah, that's brilliant. But I don't like him because he went to Man United. That's, that's the reason. Emotionally scarred. I am. <laughs> I, uh, well, we, we, we got good. What I'm trying to say to you, right, okay, is right, we got rid of Lukaku. We bought in Didier Drogba, right? Now, Didier, legends, everything. But just think of Lukaku. If he stayed there, right, he, I think, you know, Drogba would have coached it you know what I mean I, I would have said so I'd but even, even Lukaku was just oh, like have I have to play every week I'd have him, listen we, we, we got we got to do a bit of business in the last three four and I don't understand it because it, to me it's it, you know there's Mourinho turning around saying we're standing still but he's also saying we're done right well he doesn't foresee any business done and then he's going well I need a left back Obviously, we none of us know. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And don't get me wrong; these players—they're only young, so they're going to get better. So maybe over the next three years, you know, it, maybe Abramovich is saying, "Look, come on, yeah. you know, let's work with this. Maybe blood a few kids in, blah blah blah." But where, like I said to you all along, where do you want to be as a football club, right? Where do we want to be? Personally, I'm worried this season. I'm worried because I'll tell you, I can see Arsenal pulling off Benzema. Yeah. I really can see that. And if they get you should imagine if they got Pogba. That's, that's not, let's not imagine. <laughs> well, all Man City. Yeah, yeah. And, you know. That would fix them. Yeah. Well, that would be ridiculous. That would be really, really good. I mean, I think Arsenal will pull off Pogba. That is good. I think, I, I, no, 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 ben, no, Benzema. 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 Jesus. Yeah. Do you know what I think about Arsenal? Arsenal almost going now. If you look at the, right, the blueprint of Paris Saint-Germain. I like the way they do things, right? They go and get one or two bits of quality. Yeah. And Arsenal are kind of doing, doing that Paris as well. now. Yeah. Get the Ozil, get the Sanchez, get the Gotcha. Well, I'm telling you, I'd rather have a bit of quality, like, the, you know, Pogba or Bale, I'd rather have that than, you know, bit part players. Yeah. You know, me personally, if I'm going to sign a player, I want to improve what we got. Because yeah. we've got to go up one this year, because yeah. there's going to be no easy games. And it's going to be harder than ever to win this, you know, this title again. Um, and especially when other teams are strengthening. Yeah. But aren't you concerned? A little yeah. bit concerned. A, a little bit. Um, but as I've said, you know, the transfer window isn't over. Fingers crossed we've come out with a surprise. You know, 31st of August is when it all ends. And there's still quite a long time. So, well, a few weeks. So, few weeks, fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah. But hey, Tony, Louis, thank you. For you know this this let's say aftermath you know to, to the to the Chelsea Swansea game, um, leave us your comments about the game itself, our transfer policy, who do you think we should bring in, where do you think we need to fix up, if there is anywhere where we need to fix up, as we've discussed, um, and if you're new, subscribe to 100% Chelsea. Again, guys, thank you for coming on, and us three will see you really really soon. So thank you for watching, guys. Take, check all the social media links in the description below, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. We both predicted a win, especially yesterday. Yeah. It hasn't happened. What's wrong? Ten men. That's, I mean, it's 